What is up guys, Pine Muffin here, and we are back with some more Trails Through Daybreak. Last time we finished off the first night of this uh, adventure in Tharbad, where we got to learn a little more about Sarah, and we got to see Grim Cats again. But now we are off to our second day, where we're going to check out the boards, see what kind of jobs we have, while we still look for more information on what's going on here. Um, but they altered my party again, so I want to fix that. There we go. Oh, why am I writing this way? We gotta check the board. Investigate the underground ruins, but I need an escort. Okay. An archaeologist wants our help. That's interesting. I got a hunch he's not the only one trying to reach out. Let's check the bulletin board in the entertainment district, too. Yeah, let's check it before we get started. See which job is better to start off with. Yes? Huh. This is the lady we saw yesterday, the officer. So, I thought it was on the fourth day, but I guess... So, the festival itself is, I guess, tomorrow. So, this should be our last day of free... Look at these guys dancing in the street. Pretty wild. You guys, you showed up at the perfect time. Oh, God, Mariel. Hey, look, it's that little reporter again. That little girl is older than you, you know. Physically, yeah, but mentally, I've seen newborns who are more mature than that chick. Aw, uh, don't be mean. You're a reporter with the Tyrell Times, correct? You need something? Uh, yeah, I just wanted to ask, have you guys seen Dingo recently? I mean, you've been attached to his hip this whole time, so. And I never did manage to get him to fess up about what he's actually doing here. So I was gonna try and get an answer out of him again. But I haven't seen him anywhere all morning. It's so frustrating, Murgurger. You sure he's not trying to avoid you? The way you hang on him, frankly, I wouldn't blame him if he was. Excuse me, I am not hanging on to him like some sort of needy high schooler. Have some respect. I, I mean, I beg to differ. I just want to be with him. That's all. For, for work, I mean, of course. Besides, any reporter's gotta be tenacious in order to get to the bottom of a story, right? That's not clinginess. That's doing my job. If anything, I should be more persistent. And whatever excuses you want to tell yourself, girl. That's logic of a sort. I totally get you. It's like a hunter doing whatever it takes to track down their prey until they finally go in for the kill. You're one determined lady. I can respect that. I think that comparison may be a little off. Ahem. Point is, we haven't seen him, and we have no idea what he's doing out there either. Your guess is as good as ours. You really sure about that? You're not pulling my leg, are you? Nah, I'm not. We're in town on our own assignment. Just happened to bump into him while we were working. Not that I have no idea what he might be up to, but best to keep that to myself until I'm absolutely sure. Mm, well, if you say so. There's gotta be some reason why he would be out here for this schlocky excuse for a film festival, but what? I don't get it. If I recall, you weaseled your way into covering this schlock, so you'd have an excuse to come out here too. <clears throat> I don't know, dude's a pretty big stud if you ask me. You sure he isn't shacked up with some actress or model? What could it be Tingo is sleeping with? Um, this is just my opinion, but I don't think he's the kind of man that would. 
No, I think it might be possible. Yeah, no, I did see him with a real foxy woman earlier. I can't take this sitting down. I've got to find Dingo and get to the bottom of this. Aaron, look what you've done now. She's a boiling steam engine. <laughs> I feel kind of bad for her, to be honest. Eh, don't feel too sorry for her. I think this is hilarious. <laughs> The whole thing is kind of sweet, at least. Certainly more so than your wisecracking ass. All right, now we can look at what the other job is going to be. Oh, God, uh, uh, Director Gotti. I love your help. Okay. Well, would you look at that? I didn't expect Salvatore Gotti himself to call in a favor. I don't know if what he wants is our forte, but never look a gift horse in the mouth, not from a guy like him. He must have taken a shine to you after your little discussion yesterday. Maybe he asked Nina and Judith how to get in touch with us after that meeting. Only problem is, he put two different spots to meet up. The hotel in Vegas films. Does the guy expect us to toss a coin and just hope we end up at the right spot? Yeah, where should we go? Let's check out the hotel first. Might as well see how the girls are holding up today, too. I want to at least get something done in the meantime. Something done. All right, so I want to do the archaeological thing first. Let's head back to the cultural area. Here we are. All right, so the guy is, yeah, okay. So we're just meeting him up there. is an ego. Hmm, would you all happen to be? That's right, we're with Arkride Solutions. We came to answer your request. Are you the archaeolog archaeologist who made the post? Yes, I am. I'm so glad you came. I was concerned whether my 4SPG would reach you. Anyway, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Inigo. To cut to the chase, I'm about to conduct a survey of the underground waterway and would like you all to escort and protect me. Really? That dingy place? Can't imagine a guy like you'd have any business there. Ah, so you've already been down there, have you? That's reassuring. Believe it or not, the waterway has existed since the Dark Ages, and its construction continued throughout the Middle Ages. It bears considerable historical value as a result. With that in mind, there's something inside I wish to invest a game person. Well, I don't see why we can't handle a job like that, but it doesn't sound like you really need springing help for this. You wrote to the guild that you would... Oh, you wrote that the guild told you to come back another day, right? Yes, evidently they are rather occupied with getting things ready for the film festival at the moment. Seeing if my request isn't exactly an emergency, it's only natural they, would, they wouldn't prioritize it for now. Unfortunately, the fact of the matter is that I had to carve out time in order to be here. I have to leave Tharbad tomorrow, so unless I conduct the survey today, it simply isn't going to happen. It's still not something that really has to be kept hushed up like our other clients, but I get why you didn't ask us. As to why, how do we proceed, Mr. Arkwright? Good question. It does feel like there's something more to this. It could be worth our while to accept his request and see where it takes us. Sure, I don't see the harm in coming along. It's a good opportunity for us to patrol down there anyway. Count us in. We'll join you for the survey. Wonderful. Thank you so much. You're doing me a great favor. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's make our way down. Well, oh, it feels unreal to finally be setting foot down here. We actually came by ourselves on a different job yesterday. You might be surprised as to just how wide and open it is. It feels really unique, too. That's no surprise. Ancient Tharbad had a distinctive culture. I'm not fond of the musty smell in the air, though. It certainly is a comfortable place to linger. We're here to keep you alive, not comfortable. Besides, it's a waterway. What were you expecting? Haha, <laughs> don't worry, I know. Let's just take care of business and get out of here as soon as possible. Does Agnes recognize this man? So where exactly are we taking you? I'm here to find a specific mural. 
It's closely connected with the history of the Septian Church. It should be somewhere in the eastern part of these passages. Understood. We'll try and head in that direction, then. We'll see that you arrive safely at your destination. I shall stay close behind you and ensure no monsters attack from the rear. I'll stand guard on the flank, then. There's no need to overdo the protection, young ladies. I do want to have a little freedom to walk around and take in the sights. I don't just want to end up surrounded by a horde of monsters. Have it your way. We'll just follow along and keep an eye on all sides, then. I will respect our client's wishes. Try not to get separated from us, though. All right, that settles it. Let's head on eastward. Thanks, I'm counting on you guys. Um, Van, I'm not so sure about an ego. I realize this is rude to say about a client, but something seems off about him. It ain't just you. I'll keep an eye on him for now. You make sure to do the same. Understood. What's up with everyone? Why does it feel like I'm the only one out of the loop? Well, there you have it. We get the final use reset in battle. Actually, let's go ahead and use our S craft just to showcase it. Oh yeah, we can probably lower these now. Okay, uh, I guess we'll just keep crossing the bridges. Come a fair way, but there's still no sign of the mural we're looking for. Yeah, you're right. You think we would have seen it by now? Quite so. I'd be lost if I were on my own. These corridors all look the same. Looks like something's found its way to us, though. Please stay back, sir. This just got a bit more fun. Let's take him down, guys. Just a bunch of small bats. 
Uh, can I hit all four? No. That was the last of them. Yeah, good job, everyone. I know I just wanted someone strong to escort me here, but these people might fit the bill a little too well. Still, even they will be no match for. Is something wrong? Oh, did I space out? I'm sorry. I was just amazed by how capable you all are. There were so many of those monsters, and yet you made defeating them look almost trivial. Not to mention, I'm completely unharmed. I can see I did well by hiring you. Thank you for saying so, sir. It looked trivial because it was. I was hoping for them to put up a bit more of a fight than that. That's the spirit. Now let's get back on track. That feels like... What, like we're being followed? Well, uh, guess cross another bridge for now. Yes. Here we go. Took a bit longer, I was hoping, but this is the easternmost part of the waterways. Looks the same as everywhere else we passed, though. Yeah, where's this mural we came to find? I'm wondering the same thing. The text clearly indicates it's meant to be here. The water flowing through that gate leads beneath the temple, you see. That's a sacred area that has been a key location since antiquity so there should be absolutely a mural here somewhere since we came all this way could i trouble you to help me find it sure is what i'd like to say if you were any other client but you're just trying to distract us so you can call your goons to finish us off aren't you what well, what i sense four people lying in wait if you thought we were getting strung along for real you got another thing coming how rude i have no idea what spurred this on but i don't appreciate being treated like a criminal have I offended you in some way? Nah, I only played along with the bit because I couldn't pin down what you were really after at first. But you just gave the game away. You're out to steal from the area under the temple you just mentioned, aren't you? From what I've heard, all manner of artifacts and offerings get stored in places like that. You're planning to sneak in there through that grate. You weren't lying about needing us to escort you this far. But now that we've cleared the path, you don't need us any longer. We are well aware of your identity as an archaeologist is fraudulent as well. I would suggest that you put a little more effort into maintaining your cover for future attempts. I see you're not just stronger than I was hoping before, but smarter too. What a shame. Yet, despite seeing right through me, you were foolish enough to come all this way with the eldest of the Devancy brothers. Guess it's possible to be clever and stupid at the same time. Come on out, guys. Wait, it's the other two. The guy on the left and the guy in the middle right are the ones we already took care of. So you're the springin', huh? You look pretty tough, but this is over the second you took the job. We're not going to go easy on you, even if you got women and kids with you. I haven't forgotten what you did to me yesterday. Luckily, my brother managed to forge release papers for me and pull some strings. So why are you still dressed as a cop? So I'm out on good behavior. Can't guarantee I'll behave, though. Talk about not knowing when to quit. I've got a score to settle with you too. My brother bailed me out after the guilt handed me over to the police, so here I am. Too bad you won't be interfering with the Devancy brothers ever again. We'll see to that. So there's three of you guys. Figure it was just the two. Well, wouldn't it be five? That was this was your end game then. Run around town disguised so you can eventually do this. Unless the other two are just hired hands. That's right. My brothers pretended to be a cop and a bracer to see how well things in the city were guarded. The film festival here in Tharbad suddenly found itself in the limelight after the one in Messeldom was cancelled. There was no way they'd be able to send enough idiot cops to handle in such short notice. And we're here to exploit that. 
I knew it. So this is what you came all the way from me for. It's a whole lot of energy to burn for some small time crap like this. Well, whatever. Your game of dress up is about to come to an end. We're planning to take care of you ourselves, but I know from watching that you're not up to, to, for the task. But don't worry, we have a backup plan. A bomb? Not a chance. What? <clears throat> you sneaky little. How the hell did you repel them both? What are we gonna do now? Looks like those weren't bombs after all. They were smoke grenades full of scents that attract monsters. There sure are a lot of them. How about that for them just desserts? Bah, we're still making for the temple. Just gotta lose these things fast. Well, ain't this a mess. We're all strong enough to take these monsters out in record time if we want to. That way we can take all the thieves into custody too. I think that's the more respectable way to handle this. But we could also just let them wear each other down for a while first. I wanna do this. Let's just see what happens. You know what? We're going to capitalize on their dumb mistake. Let's wait for the monsters to wear them out. Then we'll strike. Works for me. Efficiency first, baby. Are you sure that's okay? It feels like we're doing something a bit immoral. Guess that's your play, is it? What do we do to deserve this? Damn it, we got no choice but to fight. Fine, but they're going to pay for this after we're done. You'll regret this, Spriggan. Regret what? The monsters are gradually gaining more of an upper hand on the criminals. Yeah, I'm not going to let any of them die, so we should probably jump in now. We're so close to our goal, so close. What are we going to do? They've got us cornered. I can't believe those guys ruined our whole plan. There's no way in hell I'm going to die here. No way. Where'd all that spunk you had earlier go, punks? Why'd you interfere? What's your game now? We're not evil, you know. We're not actually going to sit back and watch you get killed. Besides, I've got another use in mind for you guys. You just try. We've still got the fight left in us yet. We'll do more and try. Wait, what? The monsters are still alive. I thought we took care of them. Oh my god, they are actually all weakened. That's so funny. Okay, you want to play? Alright, whatever. It gave the monster a guard. I mean, they're all just enemies, so... And we're done. <laughs> Curses, our schemes. Our scheme wasn't supposed to go like this. How can they be so strong when half, only half of them are just kids? That's what you get for judging by appearances. You'd think they'd know better having so much experience being other people. So what would we do now that we've caught them? The Devancy brothers are wanting criminals in the capital. But since one of them was our client for the job, we basically wound up doing all this for free. That's why I'm thinking we should hand them over to the police and collect the bounty. That way, at least we'll get our due. Bounty hunting is another part of being a spriggan, after all. Fine by me. I'm not too big on busting my ass for nothing in return. 
What you're saying is entirely logical and legal, yet I somehow feel guilty about it all the same. So this, too, was a facet of the Spriggan way. How very educational. In any case, I will contact the local police department right away. I remember the route we took here as well. I should be able to guide them down here in short order. Thanks. Rizek contacted the authorities, and before long, armed officers arrived to take the men into custody. After learning they had apprehended none other than the infamous Devancy brothers, the police were extremely grateful. And after all, they returned to the entrance. Van and the others were given the bounty they wanted. All right. So now we just got to handle the request, at least for right now, for uh, Salvatore Gatti. Salvatore Gotch in the original. Let's see how this lady's doing today. I always thought that Officer Kelvin didn't take his job as seriously as he needed to, but this time he's gone too far. He outright abandoned his post. Can you believe it? I definitely have to have the word with the precinct about it later. I cut him some slack before, knowing he was new and needed to get used to the job, but I can't look past dereliction of duty. Kelvin. Oh, the guy who was complaining about the heat yesterday. So, I guess we're headed to the hotel for this other job, right? Orange and mint ice cream, and then milk gelato. Oh, hey everyone. Good morning. Nice to see you. Good to see you too. Seem real perky to got today. You guys sleep well after a tiring night? If anyone's tired, I bet it's old Lancer there. You look like you pulled an all-nighter. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm as full of energy as I always am. Believe it. If you say so. Good to hear you keep him well-rested. Um, anyway, are you two going somewhere? Yeah, we're meeting with Sarah and some of the other people at Vegas Films to discuss the parade. After that, we got basic rehearsal scheduled, which is looking like it'll take a while. Sounds tough. Hang in there, girls. I'm sure the parade's gonna be great. Aw, uh, thank you, Fairy. All of that is to say that we're gonna have our hands full all day and won't be able to do much else. We better see you guys start to deliver some results today, understand? Yeah, yeah, we'll come through. Be careful not to do anything that will attract the attention of, oh, I don't know, local vigilantes. You got nothing to fear. Just had to say it, huh? Hmm. Huh? Gahaha! Hello, everyone. What's going on? How's everyone doing? Oh, hello, Director. We're doing great, thanks. Well, at least physically. Mentally, I've been better. Huh. I'll take it. You girls better be feeling great because with an itinerary this good, tomorrow's parade is going to be the best in history. Sounds like you've got some exciting stuff in store. What have you all got cooking, exactly? First, the parade will be going through the Cultural and Entertainment District before stopping at the hotel for the award reception. There, the winner will be picked up and the whole thing will go back exactly the way it came. But that's all you'll be getting out of me. I can't be spoiling all the surprises now. You'll just have to see for yourselves what we have in store as it all unfolds. Although I will say the performers will be decked out in outfits made sexy by me personally. You're gonna love them. Trust me on this. Sexy outfits, you mean it's gonna be a grown-up parade? It better not be anything too revealing or else my agency is going to have a serious problem with it. Anyway, there's still a handful of things left to hammer out, but we have the shape of it ready. Especially now that we've got Sarah with us. That woman is going to be a perfect star. She'll be a perfect beacon for just how diverse our Republic really is. Eros runs through the blood of all humans. Our shared sensuality can transcend race and culture, bringing our species to new heights. 
There's only one man in Tavaria who can pull off this show to end all shows, and it's me, baby. The one, the only, Salvatore Gotti. Gahaha. Is Sarah going to be okay? I'm starting to worry now. Don't worry, for all this talk, he's got his head on straight, kind of. He won't cross any lines with her, probably. On the off chance he does do something dumb, you can bet I'll kick his ass to the curb. So don't worry, it's cool. Oh yes, before I forget, you two ladies had better not forget to practice your award speeches. Even I don't know which one of you is going to take the crown as best actress. It'll be a surprise to all of us. Huh, they haven't posted the results ahead of time somewhere? Oh, absolutely not. They're set to be revealed during the film festival. None of us nominees who's going to win or get runner-up. I like it this way. It's more exciting not knowing. I'm just glad we get to square off again like we did last year's festival. Right, Nina? You bet. You're going down, Judith. Those two make for some fine rivals, don't they? They really do. It's like they shine together. Anyway, to our meeting. We'll get it done quickly and back to practice. Yeah, we better get going. Break a leg, guys. See you all later tonight. At least one of those girls has her act together, unlike a certain bondage bimbo. What? Who are you? Hey, wait. Did Mr. Gotti have a request for us, too? Oh, crap. Yeah, right. He still needs to fill us in on what he wants. Guess we're paying a trip to Vegas films later. Man, time sure flies when you're hard at work. Indeed, it's nearly lunchtime, in fact. We should probably take a break soon. Yeah, good idea. We'll probably be swamped in the afternoon. Should we grab a bite to eat at the inn? We always do that, though. Can't we shake things up a bit? How about we go down to the marketplace? They've got all sorts of unique food there. I'd be down for that. Let's find ourselves a table in an open area and chow down. Yeah, but I want to do this request first. So I guess you only had to do one of the requests for this early part, but... More opportunities for quests means more points into your uh, LGC alignment. Oh, I meant to ask, did you all catch my post? Seeing as I hadn't heard from you all, I thought I'd reach out myself. And I figured, what better way to do it than with a 4SPG? Judith and Nina told me how to file one, and now here we are. Yep, exactly why we're here. We forgot to ask about it earlier, so we wanted to hurry back and check in with you. Right, sorry about that. Got my hands full with everything right now, as you can imagine. Anyway, let's say we get straight to business and discuss what I have in mind for this gig. You kids got time to talk right now? Uh, yeah. So it's just going to be law. What do you need? Oh, track down additional cast members. Okay. Yep, let's get down to brass tacks. Fantastic. Come over here so we can sit and chat. Right, so you run your request and you're looking to add some additional cast members to the Cavalcade. Pushing your luck just a bit, trying to rope more folks in when the festival is tomorrow, don't you think? Quite the opposite, as a matter of fact. We're done getting ready for the parade. At this point, I'm just interested in making it even better while we still have time. That's why I was hoping to spruce things up around the back of the parade with some hot girls. Give the joint a little more pizzazz. Huh, you're looking for girls? You didn't mention that. Who else would I look for? But I'm not just looking for bass. I need ones that can, can dance a bit. Nothing complicated, so don't worry with there. Are you certain we're going to be able to find someone like that on such short notice? The town may have a lot of visitors right now, but the request needs a very specific skill set, if you ask me. Bath, our bed is filled to the brim with women as talented as they are foxy. You'll have no trouble, I'm sure of it. But I will admit it's not entirely out of the realm of possibility that you kids could come up short. That's fine, because if that happens, I've got a backup plan. That backup plan is you there, miss. What do you say? Could you do it? Truly? You would like me to join your parade? Oh, wow, yeah, Rizette is super pretty. She would totally kill it on stage. No arguments there. I got a feeling she could pull off whatever dance you have in mind. She certainly could, but it should really be her decision. We can't force her to do it. Well, I appreciate the high praise, even if it feels like it's perhaps a little much. Very well, if necessary, I will at least consider joining your parade. Damn, you mean that? Screw bringing in anyone else. I'd be happy just roping you. Hold on there, Mr. Gotti. Strictly speaking, Rizette ain't one of my employees. She's on loan from elsewhere. That in mind, I really don't want to impose on her if we can avoid it. So if you don't mind, I'd rather go out and see if we can find a town first. Like you asked, does st that still work for you? Uh, all right, if that's the way it has to be. Thank you for being understanding of my position. No problem. Get back on topic, though. Ideally, how many ladies you want us to try and get in on this? 
I mean, I'm glad to take as many beautiful women as you can find. The more the merrier. But if I had to give you a hard number in terms of uh, how many our plans can fit, I'd say three's our limit. I want you to find at least one, though. Once you get to work, once you get... Wait. Once you get to work, that's all I'll be counting on, all right? Understood. To confirm, we should recruit at least one woman and at most three. Circumstances permitting. Yes, I want the best you can find. I'm counting on you kids to have good taste. Taste out deliver. And with that settled, I'm going to the training studio to plan out how to incorporate the additional talent. Happy hunting. Don't come back until you can bring me girls who will knock me off my feet. Well, you heard him. That dude's brain is definitely have one setting and one setting only, if you know what I mean. That was my first time seeing Mr. Gotti in person. He certainly lives up to his reputation as a man with an uncompromising vision. His passion for the parade is extremely evident. You can say that again. I have to be careful who we recruit to have only any hope of satisfying him. But where do we even start looking? Should we just wander around town and pray to Arusha? If you want hard girls who can dance, it can't hurt to hit up the nightclub to see if anyone there's willing to play ball. You know, for once, that's a decent idea. I'm drawing a blank on other ideas, so prayer, prayers and vice dens it is. We'll walk around town and see if we get lucky as we make our way to the club. Let's roll. Well, it looks like we got one right out here. Kind of weird to add, I mean, if the, these two were a couple, it'd be kind of weird to ask someone's girlfriend, hey, you want to wear a sexy outfit and dance in a parade? Sorry to bother you two while you're talking. Mind if we ask something? Sure, go ahead. Huh? Why are you looking at me? Is there something I can do? We're with Arkwright Solutions. Salvatore Gotti's called in a favor with us, and we're trying to help him out with Basically, we're looking for additional folks to join tomorrow's Carnal Cavalcade. You interested? You're working for Salvatore Gotti? And you want me to be in the parade? Guess it's safe to say they didn't see that one coming. But why do you want Servi to help, of all people? Not to diss her to her face, but she's just a regular woman. I don't know if she'd fit in with something like that. So much for not dissing me to my face. I know I'm not special, but you have to say it like that. You say that, but when I look in your eyes, beneath those glasses, I see a certain spark in them, a fire deep within. I can tell you've got this unquenchable sense of adventure and curiosity, a determination to see things through. That's exactly the spirit Mr. Gotti wants in his parade. More spice for what he's already shaping up to be a zesty event. Wow, I don't know what to say. You really get me. That's exactly who I am. So, it just so happens we've been making our own independent movie and brought it to Vegas Films to have them take a look at it. We've been so focused on production stuff, I totally forgot the film festival was even going to happen. We're so lost. We're, we were fretting on just what we should even do next. If you really do feel like that, I think you should do it, Servi. Get out there and leave your mark. I'm sure you'll do great. Well, I don't have any aspirations to become a professional, professional performer or anything. My heart's set on being a creator. But if it's an opportunity to meet someone like Mr. Gotti, then I accept. I'd be thrilled to do it. Um, wait, miss, can you dance at all? We're looking at folks who can dance at least a little. Um, Servi, you might want to. I'll be fine, really. Just because I'm not athletic doesn't mean I can't dance when push comes to shove. I'll show everyone I can do it. That's a little worrying, but at least you're enthusiastic. I'm sure that'll carry you, I think. Anyway, head inside Vegas Films when you're ready. Your man Gotti will want to speak to you. Sounds good. I promise you won't regret this. Uh, Servi, you might want to practice a little before going in. Just a thought. She's not much of a dancer. That's one dancer of the crew. Gotti said he wanted at least one dancer, but ideally three. So what's the play? Keep looking? Yeah, if we can find three dancers, that'd be for the best. But if we have trouble finding anyone else, there's no harm cutting things short here. Perfectly reasonable. Shall we continue searching then? If we decide to call it quits, we can head back to Vegas Films and talk to Mr. Gotti. Yeah, well, we're going to find all three. I mean, I don't even know what the, the purpose would be in not getting all three when they're already put on your map. Oh, hey, Shahina. God, I was really hoping I could come in with my sister, but they told me they don't allow outsiders. I thought I'd have a chance to meet with some famous celebrities or something. So much for that, I guess. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea to go up to one of their staff members and get up in their face. Maybe. It's clear you want your sister to succeed, though. We're definitely rooting for her. 
too. I'm sure she's going to do just great. Aw, thanks. Yeah, I know she's going to knock them dead. It's Sarah we're talking about. My sister's so amazing at what she does. I'm so proud of her. Well, if I can't get in, now is a good time as any to get some dance practice in myself. Sarah can't be the only one working hard out there. It wouldn't be fair. Shayna sounds really anxious. Not that I can blame her. Probably doesn't help that Sarah can't perform like normal today or tomorrow. Hopefully all the excitement doesn't get to either of them. All right, so let's see where our other two objectives are going to be. Well, look at this kid walking around in the water. That's got to be fun to do, even though we're not allowed to. But um, I think we're going to end things off here. So next time, we'll go ahead and finish this request, grabbing the last two people we need to get, someone from the nightclub and then someone over here. And then... Uh, Oh, yeah, I think it's going to be, since it's right there, it's probably going to be that cop we saw. But, yeah, so we'll finish that off next time, and then uh, we will move on with the rest of today from there. So that's going to be it, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe for our new channel. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.